Hello, dear students. Today we're going to explore the fascinating world of motion and inertia. We will explore the groundbreaking work of Galileo Galilei and Sir Isaac Newton, who revolutionized our understanding of motion with their discoveries. So let's begin our journey into the world of physics. Our story begins with Galileo Galilei, the Italian scientist who made pioneering contributions to the study of motion. Galileo conducted experiments involving objects on inclined planes. These experiments revealed some intriguing findings. One, objects moving down an inclined plane accelerate. Two, objects moving up an inclined plane retard. Three, motion on a horizontal plane is an intermediate situation. Galileo concluded that an object moving on a frictionless horizontal plane must neither have acceleration nor retardation. That is, it should move with constant velocity. Galileo conducted another experiment involving a double inclined plane. A ball released from rest on one of the planes rolls down and climbs up the other. In the ideal situation, with no friction, the final height of the ball is the same as its initial height. If the slope of the second plane is decreased, the ball still reaches the same height, but travels a longer distance. In the limiting case of a horizontal plane, the ball travels an infinite distance, never ceasing its motion, though this is an idealized scenario. In reality, the ball eventually comes to a stop on a horizontal plane due to the opposing force of friction, which can never be totally eliminated. However, in the absence of friction, the ball would continue to move with constant velocity. Galileo's work led to a profound insight. The state of rest and the state of uniform linear motion, motion with constant velocity, are equivalent. In both cases, there is no net force acting on the body. It's incorrect to assume that a net force is needed to keep a body in uniform motion. Galileo's ideas paved the way for Isaac Newton to formulate his first law of motion, which is also known as the law of inertia. Every body continues to be in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled by some external force to act otherwise. Newton's first law can be summarized as follows. If the net external force on a body is zero, its acceleration is zero. Acceleration can be non-zero only if there is a net external force on the body. There are two situations in which we apply this law. One, when we know that the net external force on an object is zero, we can conclude that its acceleration is zero. For example, a spaceship in interstellar space. Two, when we don't know all the forces acting on an object, but we observe that it is unaccelerated, either at rest or in uniform linear motion, we infer that the net external force on the object must be zero. Consider examples like a book at rest on a horizontal surface or a car starting from rest and then moving with uniform velocity. In both cases, the first law helps us understand that forces are either balanced or unbalanced. To demonstrate the property of inertia contained in the first law, think about situations like being in a moving bus or the bus suddenly starting or stopping. Inertia explains why you experience a backward or forward motion when the bus changes its speed. In conclusion, Galileo's pioneering experiments and Newton's first law of motion have revealed the concept of inertia, the resistance to change in motion. It's a fundamental principle that helps us understand how objects behave when external forces are applied. In our next lecture, we will discuss Newton's second law and explore the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. Until then, keep exploring the wonders of physics.